Hi everybody. Uh, just going to do a little vlog here on a Friday. Beautiful Friday. It's beautiful outside. Uh, wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, I'm supposed to meet my wife for lunch. We're having Chinese. Uh, but I wanted to do a little vlog. Because um, I kind of missed yesterday. I didn't really do anything. And uh, I would have been four days in a row. And I've, you know. But. Uh, you do what you do when you can do it, uh, and um, in that same frame of thought, my dogs felt that what they needed to do in the middle of the night was come into my music room and uh, make fake Tootsie Rolls for me, uh, which I found. Uh, I hadn't been up here all day, and I come up here, and uh, it's... Uh, a whole assembly line. Uh, they're, they're all picked up now. I'm not currently looking at them or anything like that. I'm just uh, still amazed by the amount of Tootsie Rolls that they made for me. And uh, apparently they've gone into business uh, for themselves. And uh, I did receive a mission statement from my dogs and their new company. And it says that they are tired of seeing fake dog poop at... Uh, novelty shops and so they've decided to make uh, fake Tootsie Rolls minus the wrapper. Now, if they can produce a wrapper uh, I'm going to be pretty excited and I'm going to invest in some stocks there because that's uh, obviously a company that I would want to be uh, looking into. Uh, if a dog can produce a wrapper for a Tootsie Roll that would be great. Um, I'm not going to sing for you today, don't worry. Do not click off the video. I'm not going to sing. Or if you like the singing, uh, then uh, maybe you'll like what's coming up later on this weekend. Uh, Brandy and I, my wife, the other half of the Cardins, our musical duo, we're going to do a couple of acoustic songs for you, which uh, I always say acoustic songs, and that's primarily what we do is acoustic. Uh, but the thing is, is... Uh, and it's not, another point I'm going to make also is why I can't take you places when I vlog is because I'm using uh, a tablet, a uh, ProScan tablet. Uh, I don't have the uh, nice Sony camera, digital camera that a lot of folks have that they use uh, for vlogging and such. And uh, I don't have one yet, I should say, but I priced those and they're, they're up there. Uh, the one I even looked at was... Uh, you know, still above my price range. Uh, so I'm using this ProScan type deal, and uh, it works for the most part, but when we do music, uh, we can't play, like I can't play electric guitar, and I can't sing through the mic. Uh, we can't sing through our mics at all because our voices come out distorted, and uh, which might be a cool effect for some types of music, but what we do, uh, the folk, Americana, country, blues type, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, the Cardinals music. We can't do that uh, currently through our mics, and uh, so we're just going to do some acoustic stuff, and which is probably more appropriate. I mean, we're looking at uh, you know probably a long, steady future of coffee shops and uh, you know back porch concerts, uh, which I'm fine with. You know, uh, it's not like I had uh, ambitions of uh, grandeur or anything like that. Uh, you know, you just you kind of want to do things that you love to do, and we love to play music, and uh, you know we don't uh, necessarily do it for a living, but uh, we do we do it for our own pleasure, and for maybe the pleasure of two or three other people who might watch our videos. <laughs> hint, hint. Yeah, watch them, share with your friends. It's a good it's a good thing to do. This is not going to be an epic thirty minute vlog like I did the other day. Uh, that was kind of ridiculous. Uh, a lot of times I get on rambling rages and things and uh, start venting. And, uh, you know, if you're home alone very often, sometimes you'll, you'll get in that kind of a mood where you just want to vent and there's no one there to vent on. Uh, uh, the dogs have heard it all. So, you know, they're, if they could talk, they'd be like, this guy, shut up. Uh, what makes him tick? Who pulled his string? Why don't he just shut up? So, 
You may be thinking the same thing, but uh, that's not going to stop me. That might stop you. You might uh, click the button and, and, and leave this video, and that's fine. That's your option. Totally, 100% your decision, but uh, I'm still going to talk into my camera and uh, just create a bunch of nonsense. And, uh, you know, it'll probably flop, but you got to do what you got to do this day and age. Uh, nothing can hold you back in life. You got to stay positive and. Uh, right now, my main focus is uh, bobbing my head back and forth um, because I don't know why. Just doing it. Head calisthenics, you know. It's uh, for your state of mind or lack of. I have no state of mind. I was going to get my hair cut this weekend. Kind of needs it. Not sure. Uh, my vlog the other day talked about a poll I did on uh, Facebook where I was going to shave this completely off. Uh, wasn't even going to go with the goatee or what I do. The, I can't even show you that. The soul patch that I do. Uh, sometimes I do a strip right here. I had one of these in Nashville and someone called it a chin fro. And I thought that was very clever. And I was also very, very uh, insulted at the same time. No, I'm joking. Uh, but uh, only three people voted in the poll, which is uh, kind of the story of my life. So, two of them voted for me to shave the beard. But the third vote and the final ultimate deciding vote was my wife, Brandy, who voted that I keep the beard. So... She said it was my decision in her comment, but she voted for me to keep it. So, I have yet to shave the beard, but I am going to get the haircut. Uh, usually I let it grow, and then I'll buzz my head, you know, with a number one even, number one guard. Uh, I have probably not gotten a haircut in a regular salon for probably, maybe three or four years. I always just buzz my own head in the summer, um, which is kind of silly, I know. And it's not that I'm cheap or uh, tight with money or anything like that, which I kind of am, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I have yet to, uh, to do that. And um, usually I look a lot like this guy here. If you can see this guy on my coffee cup. By the way, this says, up yours. Um, it's kind of a self-portrait when I do buzz my head. My wife got me this cup back when I was a supervisor. Uh, supervising other people. And she knew it would be stressful. And she knew that a lot of times they would bother me with their personal agendas. And a lot of times my thoughts would be, up yours. Just like the cup says, up yours. And it is uh, afternoon and I'm still drinking coffee, which uh, the reason why is that I'm out of diet soda and I have not made my iced tea that I normally make. So, bottoms up. Actually, my uh, lack of attention to detail allowed me to put some amaretto type of creamer in my coffee. I usually just take straight 50, what I call, it's half and half, but I call it 50-50, uh, because I'm square like that. The uh, creamer, like I say, is an amaretto type of thing, hazelnut maybe, I don't know. My wife brought me home a box full of creamers, which, uh, you know, some were flavored, so... I, it's awesome that she does that. She thinks of me all the time. Uh, she's always bringing me little gifts and little trinkets and things. And she's at the store by herself. She picks me up something. Um, she takes care of me. She really does. She looks out for me. And I, I try to look out for her too. And uh, try to do uh, good things by her. And, um, you know, if, if you're, you know, a good husband, then you do take care of your wife. Uh, to the best of your abilities, and, um, you know, uh, I'm that guy, and, uh, you know, whether you've been married, uh, 
which I think, let's see, we'll be going, we're on our fifth year together, five years married, uh, on our uh, sixth year together, actually, uh, in March it was six years, so, uh, but uh, come November we'll be married five years, and, uh, you know, I, whether you've been married five years or, or 50 years, you always still want to take care of your wife, and, uh, and and do for her, or if you're a wife, uh, you want to take care of your husband, unless they're beating the crap out of you, and then you need to get out of that relationship. I will tell you that much right now. Uh, no man should ever abuse a woman. No woman should ever abuse a man unless she has a good reason. Uh, my grandpa always said that uh, never hit a woman unless she punches you like a man. Then you better defend yourself. But, you know, which that may have been the, the case back in the day, and uh, of all the respect I have for my grand, my grandpa, uh, if he were still alive, uh, would have been 100 years old uh, a couple of days ago, which is awesome uh, to think about that. But uh, uh, a truly good man, um, and... A lot of his words of wisdom I always have stuck by all these years, and uh, not always have I followed his advice that he gave me back in the day, and I always remember him, like after the fact, uh, the advice he gave, but uh, I gotta say, if a woman punched me in the face with her fist, then I probably did something that uh, might have led to that, you know. Uh, um, I've only been punched one time in the face, uh, that was by my ex-wife, and the key word there is ex-wife, and the reason I was punched is because uh, I called her out on cheating on me, uh, you know, basically, you know, things weren't going right, I had a inclination, there was no particular reason why, uh, she took a job in a factory, uh, at one time she was a hairdresser, we went through like two years of schooling or something like that, and I remember uh, working my butt off, um, at times working two jobs to put her through the, the schooling, and then, uh, you know, a couple years into being a hairdresser, she decides to go work in a factory for the same amount of money, uh, maybe just a little bit more overtime or such, but, uh, I mean, she was a manager in a salon, and she gave that up to go work on an assembly line making car parts, I mean, uh, you know, it just didn't make sense. But anyways, uh, if someone is weak in uh, their mind and they go work in a factory and they're, uh, say, an info or something like that, which I want to keep this kind of rated G, but uh, um, it's just gone to PG-13, which is not not my style at all on my vlogs. Uh, my stand-up routine might be a little bit rated R. I think it's probably going to have to be uh, watched Robin Williams last night and uh, he went into X. So, anyways, uh, which is a big change from the Mork and Mindy days. Uh, absolutely. Um, anyways, well, what was I saying? Uh, <coughs> thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. I, I hope you weren't one of the ones making the Tootsie Rolls. Uh, we, we have to talk about your delivery system and uh, the fact that there's no... There's no known conveyor belt in my music room here. Uh, this is not a production facility. You need to talk to your union rep uh, or union reps or whatever you talk to, whoever these people are. Um, you get this mess straightened up or I'm going to pull my stock in the company. Just want to let you know. If you're making fake Tootsie Rolls in here. Uh, and I don't know if the bark was a confession. I'm not real sure. But uh, we need to keep, keep this to a minimum in here. Absolutely. Uh, keeping it uh, on the down low and and probably not even using this area at all. This is more of, of a um, leisure room and you've presented it as a production facility and uh, you need to take it outside as you do twice a day. Take it outside. Uh, make, make, make sure your management knows and gets that memo. I'll even send it out an email. Um, this might take a while. Really. Uh, but uh, getting back to my ex-wife, uh, when you're weak in the mind and you crave a lot of attention that one person can't give you, uh, um, then you, and you 
take a job in a factory like that, uh, you're probably going to cheat. Uh, in fact, she, uh, you know, come to think of it, they say, you know, once a cheater, always a cheater. And when, when I met her, she was dating someone, and she broke up with them to go out with me, which kind of bothered me at the time, uh, especially because I knew the guy. Yeah, I wasn't really friends with him or anything, but I knew the guy, and, uh, you know, I respect all people until they do something to earn my disrespect. Uh, so with this fellow, I uh, had no problems with the guy. He was a decent person and everything. Um, you know, he was a volunteer fireman and a little bit addicted to the whole firefighting thing. And in fact, he had the blue light on his car and would often back into his driveway, sit in his car, and actually listen to a scanner. To uh, you know, as soon as a fire would happen, he'd be gone. And it, actually, at one point, I think they kind of thought he was behind some arsons. Uh, but, uh, you know, he never did anything to me, so I don't really have a problem with that. But I see my battery life is about half. I'm still good. Um, anyways, I'm going to keep this short. Uh, you know, vlogs to me shouldn't really be over 10 minutes after that. Unless they're really, really exciting, uh, they shouldn't be over that. Uh, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm writing material uh, for you know, possibly doing some amateur stand-up, and, um, I'm not gonna put it in my vlog or any, any of the jokes or anything like that, you'll have to, uh, either come to where I'm doing stand-up, or, I don't know, if you know me personally, maybe I'll tell you a few jokes or whatever, uh, um, if up until this point you not think, uh, do not think that anything I do is funny, then, uh, that's cool. I understand that. I get it. Happy with that. Uh, my uh, taste and humor aren't for everyone, so whatever, whatever, man. It, it's whatever, you know. I'm sure some guy in Korea is probably like, he not so funny. He not funny. Man with beard and funky hat and glasses not funny. Retarded. He's retarded. Usually, the only accent I can really do is uh, an Asian person, uh, and that, not to offend anyone who's Asian, but uh, uh, my wife is the same way. In her job, she talks to a lot of people that are uh, of other races and stuff, and uh, for some reason when she tries to duplicate their voice, they always come back as Chinese. Um, so, you know, I guess I may be the same way. Um, uh, at any rate, which I say quite often, uh, just want to thank my viewers so far for turning in to, uh, tuning in, I should say, turning in. Did I say turning in? Speaking of turning in, I watched uh, World War Z last night, and it um, wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Um, it was actually pretty good. Um, you know, I thought the acting was pretty good in it and everything. Uh, um, but, uh, you know, I finally watched that. I think I'm going to watch um, Grey with Liam Neeson, maybe, uh, this weekend. We're supposed to, supposed to go to a movie tonight uh, to watch the new Transformers movie. I'm not sure if we're going to do it or not. It's supposed to be date night, but um, part of my conversations with my wife today, uh, our car's not running very well, so I'm not sure if we're going to, we're probably have to gonna go have it looked at and uh, see what exactly is going on there. It's doing the surging, lurching type thing, so... Uh, we're going to see what's going on. But um, anyway, until my next vlog, laugh more, hate less. Peace out, people. Love y'all. Adios, amigo, also. I don't know what that was. Bye.